a man named Ryuta Satu suddenly woke up in a dungeon. At that time, there was a woman named Emily Brown who was examining him. She thought that Ryuta was not human because he came out of the slime monster. Emily explained to Ryuta that every time a slime was killed, bean sprouts would come out. However, when she finished off the previous slime, it was Ryuta who came out. Emily's explanation made Ryota even more confused and thought that he didn't seem to be on Earth now. Emily added that this was the only way they could get bean sprouts. On the first floor of this dungeon, there were only slimes. If you wanted to get other fruit, Ryota had to go to the next floor. Then Emily showed Ryota the level she had. Through the status board, Emily's level was at level 3. Meanwhile, Ryota, who tried to check his strength status, turned out to only be at level 1. However, he realized something that his skill status was all at level S, according to Emily. Status S was very low. However, Ryuta thought that status S was higher than A. When Ryuta finished off the slime with his bamboo weapon, it turned out that the bean sprouts he got were very large and not as usual. Ryuta was increasingly convinced that his status S was above A. After that, the two of them then ate together. Ryuta was moved because he had never eaten warm food with other people before. Previous days were only filled with work. Emily encouraged Ryuta not to be sad anymore. Then Ryuta invited Emily to get out of the dungeon. However, Emily refused. After all, she had always slept in the dungeon because her income from hunting was still small. She couldn't afford to rent a house. Ryuta finally went to town and sold the bean sprouts he had gotten. After arranging a plan, he returned to the dungeon, hunted down more slimes, and sold them. He continued doing this for three days in a row. Finally, he managed to rent a house and show it to Emily. He then gave her the keys to the house and invited her to live in the house. Ryuta was very grateful to Emily for making him delicious food beforehand. At first, Emily refused to accept the house. However, seeing Ryuta's blistered hands and his much enlarged eye bags, Emily happily accepted Ryuta's offer. She appreciated his efforts so far. After that, Ryuta went to the place where Irza Monsoon was selling the hunted produce at her stall. She told Ryuta that if he wanted to get more money, he should go to the second floor. The result of hunting slime from the second floor was a carrot. Erz informed him that currently, a new dungeon had appeared. However, the dungeon was still being investigated, and they were still waiting for information. Before Ryuta left, Erza asked him to go on a date with her. However, Ryuta refused because he was in a hurry. It turned out that Ryuta wanted to go home immediately and enjoy Emily's cooking. When Ryuta entered the house, he was very surprised to see their house was clean. The next day, Ryuta went to the dungeon. When he finished off the monster in that place, all that came out was a seed. However, when Ryuta touched it, his HP increased. Meanwhile, if Emily killed the monster in that place, it was not the seeds that came out. Meanwhile, Emily couldn't touch the seeds that came from Ryuta's hunt. Ryuta concluded that the new dungeon seemed to only be made for people with S status. Then he returned to the old dungeon and tried his strength where after being attacked by the slime he felt no pain at all. The carrots produced were also very large. He then met a woman who ignored him. However, when he returned to his house, the woman followed him. The woman named Eve Callus Leader really liked the carrots that Ryuta got. Emily finally invited her to eat together inside. Emily made them food made entirely from carrots. After finished eating, Eve immediately left. The next day after Ryuta finished entering the dungeon, he intended to sell his carrots. But it turned out that Eve was waiting for him at the sales place. People were surprised because Ryuta was so brave to approach Eve. Even Eve immediately ate the carrot that Ryuta gave her. Urza then approached Ryuta and asked him to sell all the carrots. She would buy Ryuta carrots for many times the price. Eve explained that she was an adventurer nicknamed King Rabbit who had natural rabbit ears and the killer Excalibur. Eve was also known as a carrot expert, and there were several carrots that only she could get. People would be killed if they gave her unpalatable carrots. So whenever carrots Eve liked would definitely sell at a high price. Ryuta was very happy because he could get a lot of money again. He also thanked Eve because his carrots were selling well because of her. The next day, Ryuta and Emily entered the dungeon again. While Ryuta was checking the surroundings, he saw several adventurers being tortured by their boss. Even though the adventurers were tired, the boss still told them to move. This made Ryuta remember his previous life. When he was still working, he also had a boss like that. When Ryuta was about to have lunch, Eve suddenly appeared. She apparently wanted to eat the lunch made by Emily. Then the three of them finally ate together. After that, Ryuta met Erza and sold her carrots. Ryuta complained about only being able to bring a few carrots, even though they still had lots of carrots left in the dungeon. Erza then suggested that Ryuta buy a magic trolley because with it he would be able to carry lots of carrots, and it would definitely be more practical. Ryuta and Emily then went to a shop that sold magic trolleys. However, after hearing that the price of the magic trolley was very expensive, Ryuta and Emily gave up their intention to buy it. When they were about to return home, the city suddenly became chaotic. Monsters had attacked the city. 
Riva instead saw the adventurers running to avoid the monster and not fighting it. Emily explained that the monster didn't emit anything. So adventurers didn't want to fight him because the risk was not worth it. The trolley seller they previously met told Ryuta and Emily to immediately get away. However, suddenly Urza fell and asked for help. Ryuta quickly stopped the monster's attack. Eve and the other adventurers then helped Ryuta fight the monster. Ryuta then gave directions to all of them. He wanted the adventurers to restrain the monster's movements and he would fight it. Because there was no other choice, Eve and the others finally followed Ryuta's orders. Ryuta who succeeded in defeating the monster made the people very happy. But suddenly Ryuta heard a sound which was a sign that something had come out of the monster. Ryuta, who was accompanied by Emily, then checked and it turned out that the monster had released something. The monster took out a weapon in the form of a gun complete with bullets. Ryuta was surprised because monsters outside the dungeon shouldn't emit anything. But this time he brought out a weapon that didn't exist in the ice sky. Ryuta then checked his status, which turned out to be still level 1. However, thanks to the new dungeon, his strength had also increased. Ryuta then entered the dungeon and started trying out his new weapon. The monster that Ryuta shot used that weapon and managed to remove the seeds. But Ryuta still didn't understand how to get the bullets, so he decided to save his bullets before knowing how to use them. After that, Ryuta and Emily went to the dungeon. Ryuta had reached level 3 whose monsters were cockroaches. The cockroach took out a pumpkin. Emily, who saw the cockroach monster, couldn't control herself to immediately finish off the cockroach monster. Ryuta, who saw Emily like that, finally decided to shoot all the monsters so that the pumpkins that were released blocked their way up. Luckily, Eve came to open the way for them. They then took the pumpkin to the sales place. When they returned to get the rest of the pumpkin, it turned out that the pumpkin had been eaten by wild animals. Suddenly, the pumpkin turned into a cockroach monster. Ryuta tried to finish off the monsters. However, because he had run out of bullets, he was finally forced to hit all the cockroach monsters. After finishing killing all the cockroach monsters, suddenly the monsters turned into bullets for Ryota's gun. He then asked Urza about it. Urza explained to Ryuta that if the fruit they got from the dungeon was placed in a quiet place, monsters would appear from it. Ryuta realized that he could have created a monster on purpose. Ryuta then took the carrot he got in the dungeon and put it in a quiet place. Soon the carrot turned into a slime monster. When Ryuta finished it off, bullets appeared like before. The next day, Ryuta tried to finish off the monsters in the new dungeon. However, the seeds released by the monster immediately disappeared when Ryota touched them. He had an idea to get the monster out of the dungeon, but when he kicked it, the monster disappeared. He then went to see Erza and asked her about it. Erza explained that all monsters that left the dungeon would disappear. In the dungeon, if a monster moved floors, it would disappear too. Ryota then returned to the new dungeon and tried to get the monsters out again. However, this time he had the idea to shoot the monster before it disappeared. Ryuta succeeded in doing this and got a blue bullet which functioned as a frozen bullet. When Ryuna and Emily returned to town, they met people arguing because their cargo had fallen. Inside the cargo were many of the items obtained from the monsters in the dungeon. Suddenly, the old man was possessed by a feminine monster, a monster that had no body and often possessed humans. However, Ryuta easily defeated the feminine monster. The woman then told them to run and she would try to restrain the feminine monster that had emerged from their cargo. However, Ryuta then took out his frozen bullet and prepared to defeat the feminine monster in the cargo. He fired the bullet, causing all the feminine monsters to freeze. After that, they checked Emily's status, which turned out to have become stronger thanks to defeating the feminine monster before. The next day, the two of them went back into the dungeon and found a rare slime monster. When they finished off a monster, they took out a necklace. The necklace functioned to duplicate the items they removed from the monsters. When Ryuta brought his bamboo shoots to the sales place, a woman named Eric Macy asked for Ryota's bamboo shoots. Ryota gave one bamboo shoot to Eric. When eating Ryota's bamboo shoots, Eric was very happy because it was the first time she had eaten bamboo shoots that were very tasty and not bitter. Eric then asked Ryota to sell all the bamboo shoots to Erza. She also invited Ryota to sell it to her. She ended up buying all of Ryota's bamboo shoots. When Eric left, Erza explained that Eric was someone who had the nickname the food connoisseur. Any food she liked would get a high price on the market. For this reason, Erza asked Ryota to sell all the bamboo shoots he got at her shop. Ryota would get a lot of money from the sale. When Ryota went to the dungeon, he saw a woman named Margaret eliminating her guards. Erza said that at that time, Princess Margaret was collecting monsters because she thought the monsters in the dungeon were emitting air. Later, that air was what they would sell to people. However, Ryota didn't respond to that because he knew that only he could see what the monsters in the new dungeon released. Instead, he saw the magic trolley used by Princess Margaret because it made it easier for them to carry their items. Ryuta then went back to his house and talked to Emily about it. He couldn't decide between buying a new house and buying a magic trolley. 
Emily thought they should buy a magic trolley first because a magic trolley would make their work easier. That way they could quickly collect a lot of money and buy a new house. They ended up going to the store to buy a magic trolley. However, when they arrived at the shop, it turned out that the owner, Orton, had gone looking for flowers. According to Emily, they could only get flowers in the dungeon. The two of them finally went into the dungeon and found the child's father who was asleep. The two of them finally went into the dungeon and found Orton sleeping. After being awakened, Orton explained that he was looking for rare monsters to complete the materials for making his new magic trolley. However, because he couldn't finish off the monster, he fell asleep under it. Ryuta and Emily finally decided to help him. After making a new model of the magic trolley, Orton immediately gave it to Ryuta because he had helped him and also saved his city when there was a monster rampage. Ryuta and Emily then went to the dungeon and used their magic trolley. After that, Emily went home to prepare food. Meanwhile, Ryuta took their bamboo shoots to the sales place. However, when he was at the sales place, Ryuta saw someone who was throwing a tantrum. The man said that Urza had miscalculated the price of the fruit. Ryuta then said that he would test it with his magic trolley. The magic trolley could immediately find out the price of the fruit and put in it. It turned out that the price was according to what Urza said, but the man didn't accept it and was still angry. Finally, Ryuta decided to teach the man a little lesson. In the following days, Ryuta and Emily continued to eliminate the monsters in the dungeon. With their new magic trolley, they could now earn a lot of money and enough to buy a new house. The two of them then packed their things and moved into their new bigger house. When Ryuta was at the sales place, suddenly he was approached by someone named Neptune. She wanted Ryuta to arm wrestle with her. According to rumors circulating, Ryuta was very strong. Ryuta immediately accepted the challenge and had an arm wrestling duel. Ryuta was surprised because Neptune turned out to be a strong person. But with his current strength, Ryuta managed to defeat her. People were very surprised to see Neptune losing. Ryuta questioned why Neptune attacked him. Neptune said that she only wanted to test Ryuta and she wanted Ryuta to join her family group. Ryuta refused Neptune's offer because he was more interested in living with Emily. Ryuta then went to the new dungeon and met Princess Margaret. At that time, Princess Margaret's bodyguards said that they had a new tool. This tool could attract anything thrown out by monsters. He also gave some of the tools to Ryuta so he could promote their products. But Ryuna realized something. If the tool could suck out what comes out of the monsters, then that means it could bring out the seeds released by the monsters in the new dungeon. Ryuna then took the seeds out with this tool so that they became monsters outside the dungeon. Then he immediately crushed it into a bullet. Ryuna realized that if the object could attract something into it, then that meant he could also bring monsters in the device. He then went inside and brought the monsters in the box. After eliminating the monsters, Ryuna gets new bullets, namely red bullets which function as fire bullets and white bullets which function as healing bullets. When Ryuta went to the sales place, Urza told him that there would be a magic storm that would make people unable to use magic. They also won't be able to use magic in the dungeon, so everyone who can use magic has to take a day off first. Then someone suddenly came asking for help because his colleagues were now trapped in the silicon dungeon. Urza explains to Ryuta that the silicon dungeon is a dungeon intended for people who can use magic. Those people must have known too late that there would be a magic storm so they were trapped inside. Neptune, who suddenly arrived, added that Dungeon Silicon is a dungeon that has monsters that are difficult to defeat. Even he himself didn't want to go near the dungeon. Ryota saw that no one wanted to help this person. Finally, he decided to help the person and went to Dungeon Silicon. When he entered, Ryota began to finish off the monsters that got in his way. He was happy because his weapon could still be used even though there was a magic storm. Ryuta arrived on the third floor and managed to find the person he was looking for. However, that person was already seriously injured. The monsters then came over to Ryuta and started attacking him. Meanwhile, Emily and Eve, who came to the sales place, heard the news that Ryuta had gone to Dungeon Silicon. The two of them then rushed to Dungeon Silicon to help Ryuta. On the other hand, Ryuta, who had run out of bullets, was forced to pick up the man and take him out. However, the monsters still continued to follow him. Luckily, Emily and Eve arrived on time and brought the other monsters. Ryuta was able to get the bullet again. It finally succeeded in bringing the person out. However, this person is now seriously injured. Meanwhile, his friend couldn't use healing magic because of the magic storm. Ryuta immediately used his white bullet on the person and immediately made the person recover from his wounds. The next day, Ryuta came to the sales place to sell his watermelons. Urza realized that Ryuta had now successfully entered the fifth floor. She told Ryuta that if he wanted to enter the 6th floor, Ryuta had to have a license. If he entered the 6th floor, the danger would increase so people were required to have a license. Ryuta then went to the testing site to pick up his license. However, the person guarding the place responded very indifferently. The old man then told Ryuta to show his strength. After showing his strength, 
The man was very surprised because Ryuta could defeat him so quickly. Ryuta finally got the license to go to the sixth floor. Ryuta then asked Emily to find him the fish that was released from the monster. After getting it, they then placed it in a quiet place. The fish became a monster and was soon defeated by Ryuta. When looking at the object that the monster took out, it turned out to be according to Sadu's expectations that it was a gun. He was happy because he could use two guns at once. He could even combine his bullets. When Ryuta went to the sales, he received a report from Erza that the Aldebet group which usually operated on the sixth floor of Dungeon Silicon had stopped supplying rice because they wanted the price to be increased. As a result, people in the city could no longer eat rice. Ryuta then went to Dungeon Silicon and accidentally met Neptune, who at that time was also about to enter the dungeon to get rid of Aldebet's group. But Ryuta asked that he wanted to get rid of them because he tried to try his new weapon. When they were in the dungeon, Aldebet's group immediately blocked Ryuta. Ryuta immediately used his two guns and managed to put them to sleep. Ryuta explained to Neptune that if he combined two bullets, it would have different effects. The white bullets, when combined, would have a drowsy effect and make people fall asleep. Previously, Ryuta had tried combining several bullets. He also knew what effects would be caused if the bullets were combined. After capturing the Aldebet group, Ryuta was then summoned by Clint, who was the head of the dungeon in his city. He explained that a new dungeon had been discovered, namely the dungeon Selen, which could produce vegetables and meat. But the problem was that the city next to them wanted the dungeon too, so the city would compete to get the dungeon. For this reason, he wanted Ryota to participate in the dungeon fight too. Because Ryota was known as someone who could bring out the best in monsters. Ryota then rushed home and told Emily. He wanted Emily to also go with him to Dungeon Selen. The next day, they then started going to Dungeon Selen. However, because the dungeon was quite far away, they decided to spend the night on the road. Emily had prepared everything so that the place where they slept would feel comfortable after eating. She told Ryota that she would burn their trash. Ryota realized that he had to let the trash become a monster so he could defeat it and get new bullets. When he defeated the monster, Ryota got a new bullet, a bullet that could chase his target. The next day they arrived at Dungeon Selen, and they saw a woman named Callista burning a pile of rubbish. However, because she was tired, Callista immediately fell unconscious. Callista suddenly regained consciousness and tried to burn the remaining rubbish. This made him feel sorry for him and finally made Callista fall asleep, so that she could rest well. Callista woke up. She immediately rushed to check the remaining trash. She also saw the monsters that had risen from the trash. However, it turned out that this was all done on purpose by Ryuta because he wanted to take a bullet that could catch his target. Emily also made people queue up to take out their rubbish so people were more organized. After that, they then ate together in Ryuta's tent which she had now set up near the rubbish. So that later they could control the waste they threw away. Celeste said that more and more people were coming so the rubbish was piling up. This was because there was no winner in the battle for Dungeon Selen. The next day when she burned the trash, Celeste could use all of her strength because she had rested so her mana could be filled again. Emily then told Celeste to just rest in their tent because it would be even more crowded if Celeste wasn't in her tent. Then Ryuna went to meet the representative of the city's dungeon leader, Duke. Duke then showed a sketch of the Dungeon Selen that was being fought over. There were ten floors and on each odd floor, vegetables were released. While on every even floor, meat was released. Because their points were the same as the neighboring city, they had to find something unique from the monsters. They then entered the dungeon because at that time the Duke's people had found a rare monster. But people from neighboring cities turned out to be watching them. Duke explained that one of the people from the neighboring town named Eugen who was ranked F was there. If she killed a rare monster then the thing that came out would definitely not be unique. So if they found a rare monster, the items that came out were unlikely to be unique. For this reason, they must first finish off the rare monster they got so that when the rare monster was released, Yujin immediately moved quickly to finish it off. Luckily, Ryuta already had new bullets and he managed to finish off the monster first. The next day, Ryuta and Emily entered the dungeon together. Emily managed to defeat the monster that produced meat. She was very happy because this was the first time she had chicken meat. Then suddenly a rare monster appeared in front of them. But at that time, there were people from neighboring cities who were also near the monster. So Ryuta finally told Emily to finish off the monster because she was still in F rank. After that incident, Ryuta told Duke to tell the adventurers to look for rare monsters on every floor and give the adventurers high rewards if they could get lots of rare monsters that brought out something unique. That way they would win. Ryuta then began to finish off the rare monsters found by the adventurers. Duke was very happy after getting many unique items released by the monsters. He was sure that this time they would win. When Ryuta was exploring the dungeon alone, Yujin and her friends came to stop him. Yujin was angry because Ryuta had made them lose their jobs. For this reason, they would make Ryuta unable to work. However, Ryuta turned out to be able to beat them all easily. He even healed those who had been injured. Ryuta said he understood what they were doing. Therefore, if they were to attack him again, 
He would not get angry and would continue to heal him, but he would not lose to them. The next morning when he woke up, Ryuta saw Celeste burning trash. However, Celeste suddenly became tired and almost fell. Ryuta then healed her and asked what happened. Celeste explained that she could only use level 3 fire magic. As for level 1 and level 2 fire magic, she couldn't use it at all. This was why she often lacked energy because she constantly used level 3 magic. When she saw that there was even more trash coming than before, Celeste explained that it was because the dungeon master, who was the boss of the monsters in the dungeon, would appear. Adventurers were temporarily prohibited from entering the dungeon, so their trash was increasing. Ryota then went to the Duke's place to ask about it, but instead he met Neptune who was also at Duke's place. Duke summoned Neptune to defeat the dungeon master. However, the problem was that the neighboring city had not summoned adventurers to defeat the dungeon master because according to the agreement, if the dungeon master appeared, they must defeat him together with the neighboring city. Actually, Duke did this on purpose because if the dungeon master had appeared then it was possible that the items released from the monsters would change. So the assessment of who won would change due to changes in conditions in the dungeon due to the dungeon master. Ryuta finally decided to go defeat him alone. When Emily came home, she was ready to follow Ryuta. Likewise, Celeste was getting ready to enter the dungeon. Ryuta asked if Celeste went inside then who would burn the trash. Celeste had hired them and they would be in charge. Meanwhile, Celeste outside would burn the existing rubbish. That way, Ryuta didn't have to worry anymore if Celeste left her trash. When they entered the dungeon, they immediately met the dungeon master. When the dungeon master appeared, the other monsters would disappear, so it would be very easy for them to find the dungeon master. Emily and Ryuta then attacked the dungeon master together. However, the two of them couldn't penetrate the Dungeon Master's defense. Celeste finally came to help them. Ryota finally managed to penetrate the Dungeon Master's defenses. Due to continuous attacks, the Dungeon Master released his magic and made the three of them lose a lot of their strength. Celeste couldn't move anymore because her mana had run out. After being hit by the Dungeon Master's magic, Ryota intended to defeat the Dungeon Master alone. However, Celeste suddenly became enthusiastic again and her strength returned again. This was because Celeste was very happy thanks to Ryuta who really cared about her. Previously she was only looked down upon by people and was only used because she could use fire magic. This time she would use all her strength to help Ryuta with her collaboration. Finally they succeeded in defeating the Dungeon Master. Then Ryuta gave the items that the Dungeon Master had issued to Celeste, which made Celeste able to use level 1 magic. Celeste was very happy because she got a very valuable object. After that they went to tell Duke that they had defeated the Dungeon Master. Duke was very surprised and hurriedly told the adventurers to check the dungeon to see if anything had changed. The next day, Ryota received news that their city had won the dungeon Selen. Ryota then invited Celeste to join him and form a family group. This invitation made Celeste very happy and she immediately accepted it. Ryota then took Celeste to his city. While at the market, they met Erza who told them that Ryota had to take part in the harvest festival that would be held in their town. The festival showcased the items released from the monsters. Then they would be killed when they became monsters again. After that, Ryuta and the others went to the new dungeon. Ryuta entered the fourth floor and collected the monsters that had become seeds. While outside, all the seeds became monsters and were immediately killed by Ryuta. Celeste was initially surprised to see what Ryuta did. However, Emily said that they were used to doing this so Celeste didn't need to worry. Ryuta got a new black bullet. This bullet functioned as a binding bullet. After that, they heard a commotion in the city. When they checked it, it turned out that there was a monster on the rampage. They finally worked together to fight the monster. However, Emily, who came forward to attack, could not repel the monster's attack. So Ryuta moved forward to help her and used his new bullet. After defeating the monster, Ryuta got a bag. However, Emily's hammer had been broken. The next day, Ryuta and the others went to buy Emily a new hammer. However, the weapon seller said that this time he would give Emily a hammer for free. Ryuta family group was being widely discussed by adventurers. For this reason, he wanted his shop to become one of the weapons makers of the Ryuta family members. Emily was very happy to hear that because she would get a new weapon for free. While they were designing Emily's new weapon, Eve suddenly came looking for Ryuta because she hadn't eaten his carrots for a long time. However, because Ryuta had gone to the dungeon, Eve then rushed to chase Ryuta to a new dungeon. Eve went around looking for Ryuta. However, Eve couldn't find him. Meanwhile, Ryuta turned out to be in the old dungeon. Ryuta was happy because the bag he previously got was very useful. This bag could directly take items released by monsters that Ryuta had defeated. After defeating the monsters, Ryuta then went to the sales place. Erza then asked Ryuta to find her a rare monster, because they would show off the items they produced from rare monsters at the Harvest Festival. Ryuta was also willing to help Erza look for rare monsters. Erza then gave a list of rare monsters that had not yet been obtained. When he was going home, Ryuta questioned why so many coins had been given to him. 
Erza explained that the dungeon supervisor who issued the money had committed corruption, so only a little money from the dungeon was currently circulating. Ryuta was surprised to find out that money was also issued from monsters. He then went to a quiet place and kept the money. As he expected, the money immediately became a monster. When he finished it off, Ryuta got a potion that could increase their income. Even suddenly came to catch Ryuta. She wanted Ryuta to immediately give her the carrot. They finally went to the dungeon. Ryuta gave her lots of carrots. Ryuta then asked Eve if she wanted carrots. Why didn't she just look for them herself? Eve said that she could only get grated D carrots. The taste of the carrots wouldn't be good. That Ryota gave her the potion he had previously gotten. The potion turned out to make Eve rank A for 10 minutes. When Eve finished off a monster, the carrot she got was also equivalent to Ryota's carrot. Eve then asked to join Ryota's family because Ryota had given her good carrots and potions. Ryota agreed if Eve joined and told the others too. When they were about to eat together, Celeste felt a little dizzy. She said it was because there was a magic storm. Ryota just realized that magic storms could make witches sick. So, Ryota decided to find a new home for them. When she got to the new house, Celeste's headaches immediately disappeared. It turned out that the house had been designed to block the effects of magic storms. Ryuta immediately took the house because he saw that Celeste and Emily liked it even though the house was very expensive. Then after the magic storm was over, they decided to enter the dungeon and look for the rare monster that Urza asked for. They arrived at the seventh floor of the dungeon, which was covered in snow. But when Ryuta found the monster, Ryuta couldn't beat it at all. Celeste explained that the monster could not be defeated alone. They had to work together to defeat it. After defeating the monster, Ryuta suddenly received an attack which turned out to be a rare monster that had attacked him. However, because this rare monster had previously been defeated by Eve, this allowed them to defeat this rare monster very easily. After getting the items removed from the monster, they then rushed to sell them to Urza. It turned out that this item had a high price. This made them happy because they got a lot of money. When leaving the sales, a woman named Alice Wonderland came asking people to make her their partner. But because Alice was still a child, no one wanted to make her a teammate. After that, Ryuta asked Erza to teach her to use magic. According to Celeste, generally someone could learn magic if their level was already at level 5. However, because Ryuta couldn't level up, Celeste suggested eating fruit that could make Ryuta use magic. Even though the magic he got was uncertain, Ryuta had the idea to make the fruit into a monster. When he defeated it, the fruit had two eyes which meant Ryuta could use two magic. Ryuta got wind magic and also reservation magic. When this magic was used on a monster, the items would be the same as itself. This means that anyone who defeated a monster that had been given reservation magic would get an item equivalent to rank S. Emily told Ryuta that her level had risen because she finished off that monster. Ryuta realized that his magic could actually make people level up quickly. When Ryuta was going to the sales, he met Erza who was outside the building. Erza then told Ryuta that there was a girl who had been looking for team members recently. Because he didn't want the girl to get into the wrong team, Ryuta finally invited Alice to join his group. Ryuta then invited Alice to check her level. It turned out that Alice was only at level 1 and could only go up to level 2. Ryuta finally took Alice into the dungeon and raised her level using the magic he just got. After defeating several monsters, Alice had leveled up to level 2. When Alice defeated one of the monsters in the dungeon, a monster became small and became Alice's follower. Likewise, when they were in the old dungeon, Alice gained a following from the slime monster. After that, Ryuta took Alice to their house and introduced her to the other members. Ryuta asked his friends whether they agreed if Alice joined. The others happily agreed that Alice would join Ryuta's family. The day of the festival had finally arrived. Emily was very happy to see so many shops opened. Ryuta felt that Emily looked more cheerful than before. Emily was always in the dungeon and this was the first time she saw a crowd. The two of them then met Eve who told them that she saw a shop selling strange items. When Eve went to check it turned out the shop was selling XP. The shopkeeper said that in the box there were monsters which, if defeated, would make them stronger and level up. To prove it, Ryuta then bought one and tried it. When he defeated the monster that came out of the box, Ryuta got a purple bullet which functioned as a reinforcement bullet. Ryuta then tried the bullet. It made ordinary bullets powerful. Ryuta finally went back to buying all the items at the previous shop so he could get lots of purple bullets. When he returned, there was chaos in the city because a monster had escaped. However, when Ryuta attacked the monster, the monster was still able to get up again. In fact, the monster got bigger. The same thing happened with Emily who attacked it and made the monster grow bigger. Neptune finally came to help Ryuta. That way the three of them then worked together to defeat the monster. After defeating the monster, Celeste and Eve approached them. Celeste just came from the dungeon and got a lot of carrots. Neptune again invited Ryuta to join her family. However, Ryuta refused because he also had a family. After Neptune left, they continued to circle the harvest festival together. 
They all enjoyed playing at the Harvest Festival. While walking, Alice tells Ryuta that she felt like a lot of monsters had appeared. Celeste explained that the direction Alice was pointing at was an arena. Ryota said that previously he had been told by Urza that in the arena objects released from rare monsters would be exhibited. When that thing became a monster, they had to defeat it. If they succeed in defeating it, it would get a good item. Ryota told them that he wanted to take part in the tournament in that arena. However, to take part, participants must pair up. For this reason, Ryota chose Celeste because he thought Celeste was very suitable in this case. Apart from being able to gather information, Celeste also knew many types of monsters. They finally went to the arena to take part in the tournament. When facing this rare monster, Celeste and Ryuta easily defeated it because they had previously fought this rare monster. After participating in the tournament, they got special items. When they checked it, it turned out that the special item was fireworks. After playing the fireworks, Alice suddenly walked alone. Ryuta immediately woke her up and asked what happened to her. Alice said that something was calling her. The call led to a new dungeon. According to Celeste, it seemed like there was another monster who wanted to be friends with Alice. However, because it was late at night, Ryuta said to check it tomorrow. The next day, Ryuta went to meet Clint. He was informed that starting last night, all the monsters in the dungeon stopped releasing items. Whether it was the old dungeon or the new dungeon, Clint didn't know how long this situation would last. For this reason, he wanted Ryuta to investigate what was going on with their city's dungeon. Ryuta agreed to investigate what happened. He then went along with his team to check the dungeon. It turned out that it was true that the monsters couldn't produce any items, so the price of vegetables and other things was now soaring because currently the dungeon couldn't produce anything. However, when Ryuta finished off one of the monsters, it turned out that the monster was spitting out carrots. This made Ryuta realize that the same situation happened with the new dungeon. Last night, Alice felt that there was something in the new dungeon. Ryuta then checked and according to his expectations, it turned out that a new dungeon master had now appeared. Ryuta then attacked the dungeon master with his weapon. However, all of his shots didn't work. Ryuta also tried to fight him using all his bullets. But still, no one succeeded in hitting the dungeon master. Ryuta continued to receive attacks from the dungeon master until Ryuta realized that one of the bullets had managed to hit the dungeon master. Ryuta then started replacing his bullets with target chasing bullets. When the dungeon master was about to attack him, the target chasing bullet he fired managed to hit the dungeon master. Ryuta continued to use this method to attack the dungeon master because he would only show his form when he attacked. Finally, Ryuta used a target-chasing bullet because the bullet would touch the Dungeon Master's real body if the Dungeon Master later attacked him. However, because the bullets chasing the target had also run out, Ryuta finally fought Dungeon Master with blows because the Dungeon Master had also started to weaken. So Ryuta could attack his form. After defeating the Dungeon Master, Emily came to see Ryuta's condition. Luckily, Ryuta still had healing bullets, so he could immediately recover. Ryuta then saw that the Dungeon Master released a ring. He then took it and exited the dungeon. It turned out that his teammates and others were waiting for Ryuta. The next day, Ryuta then took as many carrots and bean sprouts as possible. He wanted to show the usefulness of the ring he got from the dungeon master. The ring could turn XP into crystals, so the XP could be given to other people and increase their level. Ryuta then started shooting all the monsters that appeared from the carrots and bean sprouts. So the monster became frozen XP. The XP was immediately touched by Emily and Celeste. They both realized that they seemed to have leveled up. When they checked, Emily had leveled up and was stuck at level 40 and the same had happened to Celeste who had leveled up to level 54. Ryota was so happy because all his family members had high levels. People started talking about Ryota's family because the members of Ryota's family had a high level and were strong. The members were Emily who used a strong and large hammer, Celeste, a beautiful witch who was able to gather information, Eve, a very strong king rabbit, and Alice who could control dungeon monsters. Ryota was feared by others because he managed to gather these great people. Ryuta then told Emily and the others to take a level 6 license. After successfully taking the license, Ryuta told them that for the time being they had to enter the dungeon alone and collect items from the monsters. After one week of entering the dungeon, they had earned a lot of money from their hunts in the dungeon. For this reason, Ryuta held a party to celebrate the formation of Ryuta's family and the new house they had. At the party, Ryuta didn't forget to invite several people he already knew. The party was lively and full of joy. This is the end of Decato Unique Skills. Thank you so much for staying in this channel and watching our videos. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can keep you updated with our latest contents. See you in the next video.